Breaking news for you viewers, at last newly released Oromo politicians Jawar Muhammad and Bakle Garba have broken their silence. They have released a statement, Oromo Federalist Congress has released a statement, Jawar and Bakle Garba are leaders of this party. In last night's video, I told you about Jawar's silence. I had said that his silence was surprising. He should come up with a statement. What is the next plan of this party? What does this party think of June 21st election, uh, which led to PM Abi's re-election as the Prime Minister for another term? Does this party recognize June 21st election? Does uh, the party and leaders Jawar Bakle Garba recognize Abiy Ahmed as the Prime Minister of Ethiopia? What are the views of this party regarding Tigray conflict, regarding ongoing war about and views about other issues like uh, uh, conflicts in Amhara or now, a detailed statement has been issued by Oromo Federalist Congress. Jawar and Bakle Garba have broken their silence. The two leaders, the party is trying to evade difficult questions. A very weak statement which has been issued by this party. Uh, we'll have a look at the statement. Then we'll try to analyze the statement. Firstly, uh, the two leaders, Jawar, Bekle Garba, OFC party, uh, they say that they were unlawfully put in prison. They did not commit any crime, but uh, ruling party saw them as a threat because election was due to be held. So that is why they were put in prison because... Uh, they challenged a political threat to prosperity party, firstly. Secondly, uh, they say that after their arrest, after their imprisonment, the country descended into a chaos. A war started, we know, a Tigray uh, conflict. And thirdly, they say that they recognize change of tone of Ethiopian government. They seem to be appreciating PM Abi's announcement to release them, to release other prisoners. They say they recognize the change of tone of the government for seeking peace and reconciliation. About Tigray conflict, the two leaders say that it should come to an end through negotiation, through dialogue, through engagement. And lastly, they say that Ethiopian problems can be resolved through uh, dialogue, through reconciliation. And uh, statement also mentions Hachalo's murder because they were arrested after the unrest which followed Hachalo's murder. Uh, they are demanding reliable and thorough investigation into the murder of Oromo singer Hachalo Handasa. They uh, commemorate their lawyer, Abdul Jabbar, who was killed. Abdul Jabbar was their lawyer, but, but he was killed. They commemorated uh, their lawyer in this uh, statement. They appreciated the staff of Kaliti prison. Uh, where they were imprisoned. Now, I uh, analyze this statement as a very weak statement, which is trying to evade important questions. OFC, Romo Federalist Congress, is a political party. Jawar and Bekle Garba, they are politicians. Their first responsibility is to address political questions. And the first and the foremost political question is, do they recognize June 21st election? Their party, OFC, and Romo Liberation Front, OLF, they boycotted June 21st election because the leaders were in prison. Elections were held. The parties uh, did not 
to participate in the election. PM Abhi re-elected. What is their stance about the election? Are they going to start any political movement against this government or not? If they are not starting any political uh, movement and they are silent about uh, uh, the June 21st election, it means they are recognizing this election. That their release is a sort of deal, I would say. They were put in prison because they were a political threat. PM Abhi got election conducted. He got himself re-elected. Now, they were told uh, to be silent about election if they want to come out. They are out. They are not speaking about June 21st election. No announcement that they are going to launch any political movement, any legal battle against June 21st election. Secondly, what about uh, Tigray war? They are just saying that uh, there should be negotiated ceasefire. They are not proposing anything. They are not condemning anything. They are not condemning air strikes, uh, drone strikes on Tigray. They are just saying that civilian casualties are to be condemned everywhere, wherever they, ha they are happening in Romia, BG. Uh, and, and Tigray. So, it, it, the statement does not uh, indicate that they are standing by Tigray. A general statement that the war should come to an end, all parties should uh, seek uh, peace reconciliation and they are calling upon countries as well, external actors, Red Sea countries, that they should pressurize the parties to sit for talks. What are they proposing? Nothing concrete, just a general statement that war should come to an end through uh, talks, through negotiations. And they will be part of the upcoming dialogue too. Their statement indicates that they are not going to reject this dialogue. They are going to be part of the upcoming national political dialogue. So, uh, for me, the statement is very weak. It seems that the two Romo leaders, other Romo leaders, they have been set free uh, to make them part of national dialogue. Uh, they will not launch any political movement against Ethiopian Prime Minister Abiy Ahmed. The good thing is that they are speaking as hate speech as well. They say all nations, nationalities and peoples must condemn and stop hate speech. Media should also ensure that they don't be part of spreading hate speech. I back them on this point that Ethiopia should uh, in one single voice condemn hate speech. Hate speech is leading to conflicts in Ethiopia. Here I would back the two leaders and OFC. But they have evaded the difficult question of, about the legality of June 21st election. Being two politicians, being members of a political party, they must clarify their position. Do they recognize Ethiopian PM as a legitimate ruler of Ethiopia or not? And, and lastly, are they going to play any role in the resolution of conflict, Tigray conflict, or just statements? So far, just a statement, a general statement, they try to avoid difficult questions. Thank you for watching.